Hi everyone. Um, I've had some reports that some of our students have been getting into the wrong Edmodo groups, so Edmodo groups that they don't have permission to be members of. So I'm just going to run through a super quick tutorial on how to lock or change the Edmodo code for your group just to make sure that you know you only have the right students in your group. So what you need to do is just check, so um, filter by the group that you are concerned about or that you want to lock. And what you'll see up here on the right hand side, you'll see that that's the group code that you originally gave the group. Now if you click on this little drop down arrow, you'll get an option to reset um, the group code. So you can click reset. And what that does is it generates a new code and if anyone tries to get in with the old code, they'll be denied. Or alternatively, you can click on lock and that just locks the group and says that Anyone that tries to enter or join the group with the other code, they'll just get a denied message as well. Of course, you can unlock the group and let new people in if you wanted to. Um, and then a final alternative to giving kids the actual Edmodo group code is you can actually click underneath here where it says request to join URL. Click on that. That's actually just a... Um, a URL, okay, so a little web URL, and then you can send that to the kids via email or to another Edmodo group if they're already a member of a group. Um, and that means that the people who have to join it actually send a request to you and ask for permission, so there's no group code involved. That's another option. But definitely please lock your groups or reset your group code so as that we're not getting rogue kids jumping into different groups. It's just a good security measure for our school. Thanks.